About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. That is why we're here. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right. Listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. If that was supposed to be a joke, I am not laughing. Don't worry about laughing, Delgado. It'll be a goddamn laugh riot when I split open his head with a crowbar. All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice bar without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, keep talking, wise ass. Throttle it down, both of you, right now. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy and eventually the Crimson Fleet. The lock. Yeah, he needs to get this thing open like right now. It's freezing out here. 
Then crank up your suit heat, Mathis, because it's probably not going to get much better once we are inside. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. Though, am I right? Wait, shut up a second. Did you hear that? The heck? be a nest. I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already. I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area, but everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? Thick. God damn it, we're cut off. Hey, Dell, can you hear me? Dell! Shit. There's no way we're getting through here. Well, this is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? The plan? Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it, we're on our own now. Well, yeah, we'll get to that eventually. 
For right now, I have a much better idea. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. Whoa, whoa, hang on. G g give me a second to explain. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct. And there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Playing it safe, huh? I can respect that. But you better have me back when I make me move. Now, let's find a way out of here. I guess that's one way through. I thought we were good. So have you thought about what I've said?
Yeah, right. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? You've got a point. All right, I'll follow your lead for now. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Keep doing what we've been doing. Right. <laughs> Glad I asked. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for the location of Crix's cell. If he stashed any useful information, it might still be hidden somewhere inside. Delgado was right. Crix must have hit the Galbank transport and stashed away the money.
to mess with me? Was this an armory? Looks like they cleared this place out. Well, well, what do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. This sort of coming handy. All right, let's keep moving. things are crawling right behind the walls. Ugh. believe this is where the fleet started. It's history, man. It blows me mind. Hey, what the hell? This is bullshit, Delgado. I help plenty. That madness? Tell him to shut up. I will deal with him later. Whatever. Okay. Now all we have to do is find a way off of this. 
schematics for the lock and I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there but I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key good answer you're learning fast okay let me see one of these probably opens the door shuttle bay activated initiating the icing process please stand by might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. Why the hell did you lie to Delgado about me? You didn't do all this work alone. Hey, come on. I was just looking out for both of us. I could have caught you out of the deal, but I didn't, right? Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. Oh, you're gonna be like that, huh? Well, I guess I deserve it. Now, let's get the heck out of here. Warden Tom Gillespie. Authorization 12210. This is likely to be my final log recording. The riots that started in D block have spilled into A, B, and C blocks. I've ordered everyone to fall back to the shuttle bay for evacuation. It was prisoner D03118, Jasper Cricks, who led the revolt. His crew tunneled into the armory undetected. And then all hell broke loose. If the lock is recovered, I urge the UC authorities to perform a full investigation. As Criggs undoubtedly had help from the guards and the staff. I'm now heading to my personal escape shuttle and... We'll try to jump out of the system. Wish me luck. Warden Gillespie, out.
something. As long as you put the fleet first. So, looks like we got ourselves a new rook. Once again, I'm Jazz, resident engineer here. Like Neva said, you need ship parts, repairs? I'll hook you up. As long as your credits are good. Well, it did when I first got here. Most of these folks aren't too keen on maintenance. Today, the key's about as safe as any other UC station. Just with a hell of a lot more personality. I can guarantee your ship will be in good hands. So if you're looking for an upgrade, let me know. We got the best selection in the settled systems. Illegal, unregistered, recalled. We sell it all. No questions asked. Anything that keeps the UC and Free Star Rangers off your tail is a must-have in my book. Just let me know when you want to talk business. No, but just remember, I don't work for free. Sure, sure. Let me punch that up and we can have at it. You might think it's funny, but loyalty's big in the fleet. <laughs> took you so long it's about time i was about to fly down and loot your bodies not now neighbor well you said you found something hand it over that's it just one slate after losing so much of our crew it better be a map with a big red x on it well i'll be damned Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay. This changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. And the recording that you found proves that it is out there. All we have to do is find it. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbag ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a... Big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay, Dios mío. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Gal Bank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neighbor and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. You'd better. Oh, before you leave. I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to cut him from the fleet. 
Honestly, I'm surprised he made it off Suvorov in one piece. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rock of Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Matt. A lot of us in the fleet came out of the mud. Need to have Jazz look at my graphic. Hey, I want to talk to you. Thanks to you, Delgado's cutting me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet, because I'm coming after you. Oh, I will, I can promise you that. Best part is, you won't even see it coming. Now get the hell out of me way! Bradley called me his friend once, and made me want to vomit. the only family well, you need it's just there you are all right look i've been lining up a score with that asshole roll call from the siren of the stars for months i'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers so guess what you're gonna finish the job for me of course you'll get a cut that's how everything works around here why would this be any different rokov has been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those Gal Bank credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're hilarious. You should stand up on the bar here and start telling more jokes. This crowd would eat it up. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the Siren and bring me my goods. Good luck. Hope you've brought me something interesting. What'll it be, friend? Buying, selling? The Trade Authority takes anything and everything. The fleet's got an impressive commerce system. They even manage a legitimate doctor among their ranks. Business on the key is like no other. It's the sole reason I'm here. For the credits. Not everyone thinks so. I'm still Trade Authority, not a part of the fleet. There are a few, Neva included, that see me as an outsider. Regardless, as long as the fleet has goods to push, the Trade Authority will always maintain a presence on the key. I'm sure we can work something out.
find anything of value, bring it here first. See, I hope you came with credit. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. I'm always ready to take credit. Don't miss me too much. You don't make it in this life without a good weapon. Well, well. Neva's new hotshot. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way back to my little corner of the key. Everyone always does. Hey, if you want to pour credits into my pocket, you won't hear any arguments from me. I carry most of the standard hardware. You know, kinetics, electromags, energy, even a few explosives. Occasionally, I stock a few smuggled items. Basically the stuff SysDev doesn't want you to play with. Just don't screw me over or I'll be inclined to give you a free demo. ...where your head is the target. Oh, we all have trust issues here. A little advice, Sadiqui? The fleet's trust can't be bought. You earn it. You bleed for the fleet... ...the fleet bleeds for you. Pure and simple. Anyone who says otherwise is either lying or getting ready to stab you in the back. Well, that was surprisingly easy. <laughs> Most people just glaze over and learn the hard way. Maybe there's more to you than I thought. Take your pick. Need more weapons or ammo? Come see me. Yeah? got mess hall duty next week. Yo, back. So how did it go? Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. 
Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Gal Bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. You can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Cricks was clever. For some reason, he never got there. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. Good to have you back. What can I do for you? Nice work. Let me take a look. Interesting. Looks like he's been meeting up regularly with Neva Mora to transfer goods and cash from Sidonia. Which means the Crimson Fleet's just lost one of their drop points. <laughs> that should set them back a bit. That it? It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. Find anything else? I'll be damned. So some of the UC guards at the lock helped touch off the riots. Everyone thought he was some kind of legendary criminal mastermind, but... Even the great Jasper Cricks needed a helping hand to get out of prison. Have any more? Yeah, you're right. But there's no way this was a solo job. Shifting all those parts takes serious manpower. I'll send this to Mast so they can shake the tree a bit. See what falls out. Looks like Durand better start looking for parts somewhere else. Anything else? So Voss engineered a way to directly interface with the key's mainframe? I knew he was a math genius, but didn't realize he was so tech-savvy. Well, we'll share this information with Galbank. Hopefully it'll help them shore up the security on their cryptocurrency. Any other fragments? So, Mr. Yasso is actually Lionel Soto. We thought Soto was dead. At least, that's what the records told us. I'll have the records updated, but seeing as Mr. Yasso has surrounded himself with the Crimson Fleet, there isn't much we can do. Yet. Have any more? Okay. Fine. Fine. I know there's more out there, so keep on it. We'll be here if you need us. <laughs> <laughs>